Hey y'all, so I'm trying to set up my camera because I'm going to be recording this. Um, a lot of you asked me to take down my braids and if you have not watched my previous video, I um I had wigs. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I've had wigs for almost a year. I've been wearing wigs and you already know that I... The wigs have been causing me to go bald on the side, so you guys gave great advice on how to um, how to grow my edges back. So I'm in my bathroom now because it has literally taken me three days to take my hair down. Like I washed it in the braids, and I um, it's taken me three days. I literally had to call out for work to finish my hair. So all of this is finished as far as detangling. I detangle with my good old fashioned hands and I still have um, like one braid left. It just is so matted. I, I don't regret taking out my braids because I know that I have to find um, another alternative to protect my hair. Like obviously I'm not protecting my hair if my edges are suffering. <laughs> and so I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to put my camera up here so you can see. I'm on my phone recording, so hopefully nothing happens. I literally woke up and started on my hair. I went to sleep, doing my hair. Um, I don't know any protective styles, so if you have any idea of protective styles, then let me know. Let me move this cord. But it is just so, like, I don't know. Every time I do my hair and I'm dealing with my natural hair, and my relaxed hair, I just, I can't imagine going natural. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how to deal. So anyways, I started flat ironing my hair, I wanna say on Friday or I think Saturday, I don't know. So this is the flat iron piece. And then the rest, I just detangled my hands. And look at this, look at all this hair. And I'm on my video too, so you guys, this is what my hair is looking like. It's just so much freaking hair. I, many of you ask me why I don't take it down. This is why I don't take it down. I have so many strands and I don't know how to deal. I don't know how to deal. Like the only thing I can think of is Like maybe some goddess like locks or something like that um, or flat ironing it to get it to the point that I can deal with it. Something's in my eye. But yeah, this is why when I do like videos and only show like me doing like one third of my hair, this is why. Like this is, this is, this is why. <laughs> oh, got something in my eye. So, oh, uh, I was just going to show you all, all of this, all of this hair, all of this. And this is just the part that's somewhat detangled, finger comb detangled. Um, but it's just so much hair. <laughs> Please tell me what I need to do with this stuff because I, I can't, no, oh my gosh. So, all right, so I detangled this section here. And when I mean detangle, I'm going to just go through with my fingers and kind of go to the roots, detangle it, go to the ends and detangle it. So this is all I'm doing is just doing that, pulling the shedded hair, and then going about the next braids. I had like, I want to say maybe 12 braids, maybe more. Hey, Rose um try to i know i'm I'm going to do the um rice water i've been trying to do that for the longest but i'm definitely not going to be doing this um on this hair i gotta put my hair maybe in some type of plaits or something i think that's what i'm going to be doing next is i'm going to do plaits in my hair and um then from there i'm just going to maybe do the rice rice water and then put some locks or something in it like crochet it because I don't know what else to do with my hair because it's just so much new growth and it just won't like lay down. And I feel like if I get it to lay down, 
I'm gonna have a headache because it's just so much freaking hair. And I can see, like even right here, look how short that is. My hair has never been that short right there. So I can see where the lace was taking out my hair. Um, I'm very like, just being real, I'm very like sad <laughs> because I hate setbacks as anyone would. Um, but it's, it's a journey, um, you know, it, journey's not always going to be the way that you want it to go so but i'm going to re-show you again my edges that's what it's looking like it just looks so freaking bad oh my gosh i can't believe it but i had this one braid in this is how many of my braids was i think most of you already know they were old dusty old braids <laughs> but um all i've been doing is just kind of starting here so you see how matted it is i literally got to take my precious precious time to to get it and what I do is I try to put all my hair up because this stuff gets in the way oh my gosh <laughs> oh so much <sighs> look how poofy it is and I still got the should be um flakes in my hair even after washing it a couple times I could still see the um should be powder so I'm just using a regular old um, hair tie that I got, I think, from Sally's. Oh, my gosh. So just that two times of wrapping it around, my hair feels so tight because it's so nappy, so much hair. But I'm definitely going to be going because I have not gone to the store yet. You all told me about getting, like, um, black castor oil, which, you know, I live by that. And, um... I just cornrowed mine in two braids. It, that's what I might do. That's what I, but it's, when I tell you, Rose, how hard it is for me to get through my hair, my freaking new growth is angry. <laughs> it's so much. Like, it's so, just starting out the braid, it just oh, it takes forever. Like, I don't, I might, I have to straighten it to probably help me because I don't know no other way of doing it. And if not, then I just might wear my hair like this. Like, go to work, do my, my little bit of edges that I do got, and just put my hair up like this. But I feel like that's going to definitely work against me because I know that putting the hair in a constant ponytail is not good for um one's hair so it better it's better what it, it keeps disappearing so i can't see it go for it. it um but anyway so i'm going to so if you see white flakes in which you probably see the light white flakes those are um that should be mixed that i um constantly put in um oh my gosh it's it's just so much hair. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on. I have one braid. This is what it looks like in the back. Very matted. Very, very matted. Ugh, girl, you don't understand. The first day I started was on Friday, and I think this was around like, I don't even know what time I started. Um, I, I don't know what time I started. It was either Friday or Saturday. Um, no, Friday I started, Saturday, no, 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 Saturday I started, and I started around like 6, and then um, I'm going to definitely get the wild growth, got it, girl, I'm getting it, but I started at 6 on Saturday, um, I went to sleep around 3 something, <laughs> and then I started on Sunday, um, like when I woke up. And I'm definitely going to do the rice water. I got you. I'm going to be doing the rice, rice water and then I'll record it. And then I don't even know what time I went to sleep yesterday. I think I went to sleep around like 2. It was 2 something on Sunday. And then here we are on freaking Monday. And I'm almost finished. I got one break to go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of my hair up into this ponytail here. And I'm just going to figure out what I need to do. My main focus right now is one, to find a protective style, two, also to um, to regrow my edges. So I'll be doing a lot of videos on mixing of oils and um, just focusing and giving my edges the tender love and care that it 
should have. I mean, wearing wigs, just jumping into that, is like a great protective style. It has been for me for like, again, almost a year. Um, but at the same time, literally when I didn't even really notice it until like I showed y'all that video. Um, I'm trying to grow mine. The carrot seed. Girl, Danielle. All y'all's um, comments in that video, I'm going to take it when I go to Sally's and I'm just going to get all the different types of oils and I want to see how it does independently on my edges, maybe giving it like maybe um, a couple weeks. Um, I think that would be a, a good, you know, time to do that. Um, why is, girl, I can't do no a roller sets on this stuff. Like, girl, my roller sets probably, I know it won't turn out right. The only part that probably would turn out right will be this, like the relaxed part of my hair. Other than that, Girl, my doggone new grow is I tell it's so it's so resistant. So my new grow is like right here. That's where it stops at. But you don't understand. <laughs> you look. You know when you be doing your hair, and only you know how resistant your hair is. That that part. My hair. My phone's about to die too. That no. That rose set's not gonna work. I know it's not gonna work. Um, I tried that when I was, um, I think maybe one month post relaxer. Girl, I'm almost a whole year. <laughs> My freaking hair gonna re laugh at the doggone roller set. But, anywho, this is what my hair is looking like. What do you suggest? I suggest one getting those oils, focusing on my um, my edges, and then um. And then finding a protective style, which I want to try the locks, like those locks, jumbo locks. I don't know what they are. I think they really would look nice on me. I did like a a review or basically a rant on the um, the goddess locks that I did a long time ago in which I would never get those again because that's where you have to do like the twisting method and my hair just, mm -mm, my hair was like falling out. What triggered your hair growth? Um, well, my hair grows anyway fast. Um, I like one and a half, maybe two inches. It grows fast. It is. It all. It has always grown fast. Um, but I know that protective style in my hair. So putting it away, not being in it constantly. Obviously, manipulation and um, deep conditions. Like <clears throat> people think, like oh, you know, deep conditions isn't all that, and it don't help with hair growth. Yes, it does. Um, my hair growth. Definitely, if I had to give any type of tips, it would be deep conditions, protective styles, deep condition, protective styles, and keeping your hair moisturized and oiled. Those would be how many was that four? That's all you need deep condition, protective style, keeping your hair moisturized and oiled. I promise you, if you do that, you will see you will see growth, you will see it. And again, when you do deep conditions, you want to make sure because this is more information, but. You have to have a balance between moisture and protein. If you don't have that balance, then one's hair can break off because too much moisture or break off because the hair is too hard because of the protein. So you can get different types of shampoos and conditioners that have that pH balance of seven, which is what we need. Um, a lot of them will, um, let me see, I have Alpha G. Let me see, I don't know. But I have the Alpha G. Um, it's my two minute reconstructorizer. Not this is my two minute reconstructorizer, but it's a two minute. Um, no, no, no. It's a balancing conditioner. That's what it is. My other one, which is under my sink. Um, you can get things like that that will balance the hair between protein and moisture. Um, I use a lot of the Alpha G um, products, which is the keratin and the two minute balancing, and sometimes the shampoo. Like I've used that for years. Um, I would say like my conditioners and shampoos that I grab for is my Aussie and my um, Alpha G. Those are the two things that I constantly grab for. Oh, and ORS because those help with moisture. Um, what's the regimen? Regimen, I mean, again, <laughs> I mean, honestly speaking, you know, I just, everything I show you guys on my video is exactly what I do. So if I feel like, okay, my hair, right now I, I wash and I deep, I, not deep condition, I wash and I condition my hair with this on um, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. So I wash with Ozzy, I condition with the um, two minute reconstructorizer and I um, 
did my protective oil, which is a um, argan oil from Sally's. So typically, like I said, I'm using the same stuff. Ozzy Alpha G oil moisturizer. Moisturizer, I use my Cantu. I don't even have no more of that. I gotta get some more of that. But that is my regimen. Um, if I'm doing a deep condition, I'm just mixing like my favorite oils, which I have a video of that. Check it out um, of all my favorite oils. But my regimen is simple. Um, I think a lot of if people realize that a regiment, yes, is just something that you do, you know, on a continuous basis. But listening to your hair, you know, is what you really got to you got to understand. You got to really research on how to take care of your hair. What deep conditioner do you use? How often? Um, um, OK, so, yes, I do this. Um, I try to do it weekly. If not, then I do it every other week again on how my hair my hair typically likes it weekly but again if i'm busy then i'll do it you know when i get to it which sometimes could be two to three weeks um deep conditioners that i use i use the ors organic root stimulizer which i if i can find it right away yeah got it down here and you can tell that i use it it's gone um i use this i got this from sally's you can get it from your local beauty store um, I use this and I use my alpha G's. I kind of like mix them up because I'm a, I'm a person that if I find that um, different conditions work for my hair, if they're a moisturizing, that's what I'm looking for. Then I try to mix all of that. It's like getting the best of one. I mix my favorite oils, especially oils that I know that aid in growth. I put all of that. It's like putting the perfect, it's a perfect recipe in which I, I definitely feel like that has helped my hair. Hold on one moment. I got to get my charger. All right, so I gotta charge this phone, y'all. But it's a perfect recipe. Um, so that's what I do is I find something that works for my hair and then I run with it. I'm charging my phone right now, y'all, so excuse me. Oh, it's so hot in this bathroom, too. Y'all, I'm trying to get this set up right. So let me see if I can do it. Uh-uh, it didn't allow me to do it. So maybe have to hold it. But, um, and I'm recording on here too. So y'all say, hey, y'all see the ring light. <laughs> but I'm giving y'all all the attention. It's so hot in here. But yeah, so that's my regimen. It's just focusing on the things that my hair likes. Listening to my hair. If it says, if my hair feels like it's dry, then I know I need moisture. If my hair feels like it's, um, like just very rubbery, like just flexing too much, um, like a rubber band, then I know that it's too much moisture in my hair. So that means I need to grab a protein. Again, like I said, try Alpha G out, see how your hair likes it or doesn't like it, and then run with that. Um, the whole point of a regimen is just finding things that work for you and, you know, putting that in your, your routine. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, so I don't know. I feel like this video <clears throat> or this live stream is this braid is going to take forever to take down but i want to be able to show you all this because a lot of people just like oh take your hair take your hair down take your hair down well you don't understand that it has taken me three days to take my hair down three days like that's crazy but that's this is the norm for me literally when i have to take my hair down i know my husband knows he was telling me he was like you should have started off Friday like he's right I should have because he knows that it takes forever to do my hair um but I just really wasn't trying to do it I'm in front of my window but I just really wasn't trying to do it um just because I wanted to enjoy my you know my week but anyway so let's get back into this this thing honey oh it's so hot oh <sighs> All right, so what I do is, this is the Tangle Masterpiece. Let's, let's just call it that. I'm not gonna call it a mess. So from the bottom, I just go and I start detangling like this. You can grab an oil if you want to, but I really don't want to because I'm not really sure exactly if I wanna flat iron my hair. And what you don't wanna do is be over here detangling your hair and put some oil on there and then go flat iron your hair because it's gonna cook your hair. So very, be very careful. Now you can use the serum. This is a serum that I'm using. Um, I'll use a little bit of it because it helps give slip. But at the same time, I don't want my hair to be weighed down by um, oil. So 
This is what I do, honey. And I'm gonna move this out of the way because this, oh, I can't even imagine wearing my hair right now anyways. Like, I'm so hot already. So, oh my gosh, y'all. Look at that. I'm gonna give y'all easier piece. So, start at the bottom. It's just so matted. I mean, is this how my natural hair would be? Would it be this matted? Like, I really, I want y'all to answer that. Will my hair be this matted if I was natural? Um, I know that I'm dealing with two different textures. Obviously, my relaxed and then my natural hair. But this has got to give. This is too freaking much. I don't see how people do this. Mm -mm. I, don't, I, I feel like the more I'm dealing with my mixture of textures like i said the the more and more i don't even want to go natural because i don't even know how to deal with it is if it's taking me three days just to do my relaxed hair and that's before me even deciding that you know i might go natural i don't even want to imagine what it's like to go natural if it takes me three days honey like girl bye i'm gonna be up here for the whole week trying to do my hair and that's real talk no i can't do it i uh, mm. I guess that's my answer maybe that's just protective style and I don't know but I don't want to go natural if it's going to take me um longer than three days like I just I don't have three days girl I work <laughs> I got a real job so I can't imagine uh -uh. keeping my hair in um braids has definitely helped with washing and conditioning. I didn't have to worry about nothing. Um, I think maybe trimming my ends um, would help, but then I feel like I have to straighten my hair. You should try to kinky twist your natural hair to help it more manageable. Girl, Danielle, <laughs> I'm gonna say this again. Kinky twisting. Okay, so you have to detangle your hair, right? And if you have to detangle your hair, then you're going to have to... That's going to take forever. Like, just see how much time it's taking me to do this. Like, I know it's going to take forever to do any type of... That's why I avoided having to detangle my hair I by, you know, keeping it in braids. But, I don't know. I don't... I got... I don't know. I don't know. So you saying like, go ahead, trim off my um, relaxed hair, and then you know do the the kinky twist. And if that's what you're saying, then at the same time I'm like, okay, if it's taking me three days, as I reiterate, <laughs> to just do just to detangle my hair, girl, it's gonna take me literally probably a whole week to doggone detangle my hair and then probably another week to twist because it's just so freaking thick i don't see how people do this and it's like the longer my hair is just you know fyi so you all know the longer the hair is the more um issues you're gonna have like you the more you're gonna have to go in and uh, be patient look at that y'all see this Uh, but you know you want healthy hair you want to make sure your hair is flourishing that's what you got to do honey y'all I'm in this bathroom closed in and it's hot look at that this is what I have to deal with so what I do is I get my little pins for my wigs sometimes and I just go in and try to break down that that tangleness but definitely start from the bottom do y'all get tangles like this look look do y'all get tangles like that these are tangles well that part's almost done so I'm just gonna go in with my pen literally I woke up I, I just started eating on some muffins I woke up and just started on my hair I'm like I gotta go to work tomorrow I gotta go. And this in itself takes forever. Ooh, it's 
hot, Lord. It's hot in here. So, see? That's what my hair does. See that? Can y'all see? Let me show y'all. Y'all see? Y'all probably can't, but... Oh, I see the comments now at the bottom. Y'all saw it. My phone's falling all over the place. Tisha asked if I was going natural. Tisha, if you're still on here, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going natural. Right now, I'm just trying to grow my hair as healthy as I can. And um, I was tired of relaxing because I felt like, you know, my hair was not as thick as I know it to be, as it used to be. So I was like, uh-uh. Like, you know, I want my hair to be <laughs> thick, but baby, look at how much thick this girl. This is how my hair used to be, like mad thick. So <laughs> be careful what you ask for. I'm very, I'm very grateful that my hair is thick because I know some people whose hair is thin and they have, you know, issues with that. Um, I think the reason why it took me so long to realize I was going bald for my wigs is because my hair is so thick. Um, to the point that I didn't notice until it was like a couple of strands left. Um, because I would take off my wigs every night. So, but yeah. Some people would be like, you know, why don't you just comb and do all this stuff? I try to, you know, just not put so much, um, tension on my hair. I know I got a lot of strands. A lot of people say, well, you got a lot of strands, but that's not the point. Um, just because I have a lot of strands doesn't mean I want to just go and rake through my hair, pulling it out. Now, don't get me wrong. I use the Demi brush. I try to use it with, like, um, in the shower or something like that. But if I can avoid using a comb or a brush on my hair, then that's what I'm going to do. So this is what I'm doing. Like, it literally, just this section is taking me, what, like, five, ten minutes? Yeah. So this section is now detangled. It's gonna go so, perfect, perfect, perfect. So all of this is now detangled. And I just go through with my hand and pull it apart, you know, making sure there's no tangles. And that's it, that part's done. This section I don't think is gonna take <clears throat> that long just because my nape area, which this is my nape area, it doesn't really get tangled like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it up into my ponytail. I think we'll stop recording on this thing. Um, all right, so I'm going to my next section. Ooh, low, low. Again, just be careful because I want to make sure I am not causing any breakage. So that's hair here. Mm -mm -mm. Oof. Hey, another thing is I'm tender headed. So <laughs> Using my fingers instead of a comb is a lot better for me. Like, I, I am mad tender-headed. I've always been tender-headed since I can remember. My mom used to say that I wasn't, but I don't know. I, I think the more hair I've had um, over time, like, the more thicker it's gotten, the more I've been tender-headed. But, girl, your girl don't like no brushes and combs, so. Going to a salon, that's another reason why I stopped going, because, girl... Let's just talk about salons. Salon people, I'm just saying, unless you have someone who really gives your hair tender love and care and they're not focused on the next client, I don't go to salons because they want to get you in. You have to wait a long butt period of time. I'm plugging up my phone again. Wait a long butt period of time and they just sometimes just have you sitting there as they're working on another client, even though you're early. And I just be like, why does it feel like I'm sitting here wasting my time while you just getting this extra guap? And like, I feel like a lot of people are just worried about that money faster, like money, money, money. So 
a lot of times people have to look at my thing they have to go in sit there for hours like it's your whole freaking day i don't have time for all that so mm -mm. then when you finally do sit down they're rushing you by raking the hair out of your head they don't start I, sometimes i see them they don't start from the bottom they just start raking your hair like in the middle of your hair they start raking it uh-uh no mm -mm. Mm -mm. I did not spend all this time on my regimen to make sure that my hair is healthy, no breakage, and so forth, so forth, just for you to go rake all, all of my hair out in a two to three hour span. Like, I'm not, mm -mm, not I'm not with it. Y'all, I'm trying to pluck this thing up and have it sit up here, but it ain't working, honey. That might be fine. But no, so that's why I don't like going to salons. Like, I don't feel like they, um really care for your hair now there are some places that do and they'll take care of your hair i feel like a lot of natural places i've gone to a lot of natural salons um i think one and i've gone a lot of times and she really cared for my hair she took the time to study my scalp she took the time to study my um hair strands she told me my hair my scalp was nice it was healthy she told me my hair strands i had really small hair strands but a lot of them um, so I don't really know what that means other than I know that I am high porosity. That may mean that um, as to why my hair strands are so small. <clears throat> and what that means is just like for me, um, there's certain types of conditioners and shampoos that my hair likes, which is the same for low porosity. There's certain type of conditioners that the hair likes. For me, I absorb a lot of those um, conditioners and shampoos, whereas I think low porosity people, it kind of sits on their hair. Like they got to do certain things for it to absorb. So for me, yeah, I can put stuff in my hair and it just drinks it up. Okay. So if you didn't know, just search low porosity, high porosity, you'll see what type of um, hair you are and then what type of um, products to use. It really takes you that long because it's two different textures. No, damn. No, girl. When I was just relaxed, just relaxed, and have all this new growth, it was taking me forever to detangle my hair. No, now that I am dealing with two different textures, it still takes me, I feel like honestly speaking, yeah, it's still three days. It's still three, it's the amount of hair. Like it's my hair, my roots, like, oh my gosh. I gotta literally wait for them to get dry because I can't go in and try to detangle my hair when it's wet because I notice that when I try to do that, then I have a lot more breakage. Whereas, you know, if I wait till it's dry, then I don't have as much breakage. Um, so, but no, not the different textures. I would have said that if I didn't know my hair, <laughs> but um, boo boo, my husband, Cravius already knows. He knows he was like, why did you start on Saturday? You know it's gonna take you three days to do your hair. He was right. I knew he was right. Uh-uh, honey. But anyways, oof. It's hot. I was reading the message on my phone. But yeah, so um, yeah, it takes me three days, honey. And going to the line, um, I wouldn't recommend it. Not unless you really trust someone that you go to, had a great experience, then you know do what you do but for me um i don't go to a salon unless i'm wanting them to style it and that means that i've already washed and conditioned my hair see sometimes i have knots like at the very top here so i have to start at the bottom and work my way up And I'm not, if y'all know an easier method, let me know um, as to what you do. I'm, I mean, I'm not against trying it. <clears throat> but I know for me, combing my hair, I lose a lot of hair. Um, and I'm not just saying shedded hair. I, I lose a lot of hair. Um, I put it in sections when I comb it. So if you're going to ask that, I definitely put it in sections um, when I do comb it. But for me, I still lose hair. Um, and I can tell that it's broken because it's it doesn't have a white bulb at the end of it. Whereas, you know, the shedded hairs, I can tell that they're shedded hairs because they have bulbs at the end of it. Um, that's how you can tell if it's broken hair versus shedded hair. So this is the hair here. There are long strands, whereas broken hair would be like maybe short little strands. But again, always look for the bulb on the end to see whether or not, you know, it is breakage. That's how you're able to tell your hair. 
um, the health of your hair and so forth like that. Okay, so this section is done, I think. Okay, no, I got this not here. And then there's sometimes I just can't take knots out, so I'll cut it. I have to cut it. I'm going to try everything possible to make sure I can um, save that hair. But at the end of the day, like, if I can't, then there's nothing I can do but to cut it. So, oh, my, my niece, Olivia, she's waist length. Yes, Olivia, get it. And mommy's doing a great job too. I love, I need to see her hair again, Danielle. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen her hair and I love her texture. It's so curly and pretty. Okay. Ooh, honey. Another thing is when you have a lot of hair, you have a lot, like you get hot, obviously, just like any other hair. I get so hot quick. Like my scalp sometimes I'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm so hot. It's because I got so much hair. So on to another section here. I'll pull it down. And so you see that sometimes it gets a little knot at the end and then I just pull from the end and we're good to go to the next section. This works for me, you know, this may not work for you. You may not have um, the time to do all of this detangling and that's okay. That's okay. Not everybody has the same um, time and patience, but you know, find something that works for you. And for me, this works. I just have to like always find, if I start on my hair, I got to start on it Friday. I should have never started on it Saturday thinking I could finish by Sunday. Girl, bye. But starting here. And that's my journey. I just try to show you all what works for me um, and give you guys an opportunity to try um, different things out. A lot of people sometimes, they'll comment on, oh, this, I don't do all this, da 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 or I just do this, da da That's fine. That's fine that, that that works for you. Like, I'm just, again, showing everyone what I do. Could it be easier? It probably could, but as a, at that point in time in my life, I have not tried it. So that's why I always ask, you know, you all tell me what you do because I would love to try it to see, you know, how my hair responds. But I had someone commenting on my videos, like, you know, it doesn't take all this, da, 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 or just, you know, on any video, you know, why do you do this, this, that, and da, da. Well, this is what I do. This is my channel. This is my journey. <laughs> this is why I do it. So, yeah. Um, sometimes I don't understand people, but I get it. Sometimes people just want a response out of you. And I try not to do that. I always will try to explain myself, but why get petty? Like, we're too old for that. What do people keep saying? That's 2018. Girl, this is life in general. I don't, I'm not. I try not to be that person. Like, why? Doesn't do anything for us. All right, so bringing the tangles down to here from the root area. And now I'm just going to go in and work my way to the middle part where it has tangles at. how like my viewers subscribers how or what they think of me and my channel or different things they want to see on my channel so if you guys want a QA Q&A let me know because I don't mind answering questions now personal questions and personal meaning like my family and things like that I won't answer just because I mean they didn't ask to be on social media they didn't ask for that so I don't you know try not to put them on that I'm a pretty private person a lot of people don't know too much about me, which is kind of how I want it to be. <laughs> but if it's something related to something that I can help um, other people out, women, men, children, whatever, then I'm all for it. I'm all for helping people. But, um, but yeah. Even if y'all want to ask questions about how to start your own YouTube, I can, you know, give you advice on that. I've done a video on that before, but I, I see that a lot of people are wanting to start a YouTube channel which I think is a great idea because we are moving, you know, in a direction where, you know, YouTube is TV for us and you can find pretty much every show on YouTube and you can be the show. So I like that. I've always wanted to do YouTube because I wanted to record, you know, where I was in my life, but then showing, you know, my journey, my hair. I think it's, it definitely started out with my hair. I definitely started out doing hair videos because I've always loved hair. So if you want to, you know, start a channel on whatever it is that you have a passion for or like to do a hobby, you know, definitely do it. I encourage you to do it. 
Um, I started out with like my laptop. My yeah, so <clears throat> my phone is not plugged up. <laughs> um, okay, so it wasn't plugged up, so it died. So I have this one section left because I was continuing to detangle as my phone was turning back on. So I'm going to go ahead and try to take this braid down all the way, but sometimes it's too kinky where I can't. I got to just work again, like I said, in sections. Um, but yeah. Ooh. I got to eat too because I am starving. And it's so hot in this bathroom. I need some water. <clears throat> so one break left to go. Drum roll, please. <laughs> I'm so glad to be done with this. Because keep in mind, like, even my husband, he cooked yesterday. So I got to cook. Because if I don't, bro, I'm going to be mad, mad. He's going to be mad, mad. So that's a tangle there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take this section here and work my way around it. So, and again, repeating, I am tender-headed, so this is the best method so far for me where I don't have to worry about a lot of breakage and just being tender-headed, because I will cry over my hair being raked out like oh girl i promise you i'll cry i will cry and i'm not tender-headed like it just i don't know it feels like my scalp is being pulled like i don't know like my hair is being ripped out my head that's how it feels um when some people comb my hair that's why i don't like people putting their you know when some people do like this you don't do that through my hair like don't do that like, I don't understand how people think that that's okay to do. You'll see sometimes people just come see if your hair is real. It's real, but, like, that don't mean that, you know, that don't give you the justification to rake your hand down my hair. Because a lot of times people don't realize that that causes breakage when they just rake their hands down that, down your hair like that. So, yeah. If you see me in public, <laughs> don't put your hands in my hair. <laughs> Unless you ask. And then, you know, I'll give one permission to do so. But I'm not going to, um... Ugh, too. I don't like when people do that. People have literally come up to me and like, oh, your hair is so pretty. And then, hmm, please. <laughs> you, you would get the most crazy side eye ever. <laughs> like, who do you think you are? Why are you touching my hair? Please don't. Okay. So you see how I'm doing that? I'm just kind of just sectioning it in off each part of the hair. I guess that's the best way I can explain it. <clears throat> Just going through it and sectioning. I'm looking for any tangles. I'm looking for any like pieces of hair that like to combine together, which I don't see anything, which allows me to know that it's detangled up there. So I just move my way <clears throat> down. So see here. Hair sticking together here. And I don't recommend just pulling it apart like that because <clears throat> you can cause breakage. You want to start from the bottom if you can. So for me, I know my, most of my tangles are here, so I don't mind like bringing it down to a certain point and then working my way up. So now I'm just working my way from the bottom and pulling any tangled hair. Okay. Yeah, and I got a little bit. I don't have that much. Surprisingly, um, this braid wasn't as tangled as I thought it was going to be. So I'm really happy about that. When I wash my hair, like you already know now that most of my videos show that I wash it in like braids. That's what I'm going to do forever going forward. Just because if I wash it like this, with me being post-relaxed <clears throat> almost a year come um well we're already in april i think it's the 17th or 27th or something like that was the last time i had a relaxer i can't remember um but it's we're going on a year honey 
and I don't plan on relaxing, but at the same time, I, I'm not natural or I'm not planning to be natural, fully natural. So I don't know. What do they call it in between? <clears throat> Girl, I don't blame Olivia saying don't touch. Like for real, like people don't, people don't, I don't know. I, I don't think everyone's intentions is to obviously break one's hair off or you know rake it out but i think most people's intention is to feel how the hair feels and to see if it's real but i think at the same time like just being respectful it's like just walking in someone's home without them saying that you can come in like you just don't take it upon yourself to to touch someone's hair and olivia i mean she speaks her mind and i, I like that like you'll find that some people will literally rake your hair and I've had some people be very aggressive with my, my head. Like, just, like, who do you think you are? Why? Why? Who, who taught you this? Like, where are your parents at? <laughs> and these are grown people. Like, why would you ever think that it's okay to do that? I don't even do that. Like, obviously I don't because I, I despise it. But, I don't know, that's a pet peeve of mine, man. I don't understand why people do it. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull this section. Y'all see how long this is taking me? Imagine. Imagine 12, 15 more braids. Imagine. Because boo-boo. It takes a lot. Okay, so this one is tangled at the top. And there's been times in the past 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 that because i see sometimes people like, i have a friend she she gonna be caring she girl she, when i tell you like she'd be like oh you're you're combing it too soft and doing this girl she just oh sometimes I've, I've had friends in the past <clears throat> tell me girl just do this or just do that like meaning just go and rake that comb through their hair i'm like uh-uh you do it i don't want to be the cause of anything i don't believe in doing that and i'm not going to be the one to do it like no boo boo nope 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 but um you'll find some people who just don't care and they're like you know i got more strands but that ain't me honey that ain't me i love all my strands equally no discrimination <laughs> <sighs> all right but someone mentioned about this rice water and then also someone mentioned about um where i get my shampoo from I think I mentioned in the live feed earlier that um, I go to my local beauty store, um, but you can get it from Sally's too, but I think Sally's is more expensive, so your girl don't try to shop there too often, even though they are closer to me than my local beauty stores, but literally Sally's is like right across the street from my house, but um, they also cost a lot, a guap. And what I mean, it could be like two to three dollars more <clears throat> than what you would get from your local store your local beauty store so i try to go to my local beauty store so if i'm in the area of my local beauty store even if i don't need anything i'm stopping through honey i'm stopping through i'm so in love with this the fact that i can just do this and i don't have to worry like you'll know if i um if someone's doing my hair and my my eyes are like this i'm already chinese but my eyes are like this that means that they mm -mm, they hurt me <laughs> And I'm trying to endure the pain. I want to take you all, if I ever go to a salon again for styling or if I get a relaxer or whatever the case may be, I'm going to take you all with me um, so you can share my salon experience and see what they say about my hair and whatever, see how they do my hair. But I just, I'm hesitant to ever go to a salon because I don't want to be the one where I did all this work just for them to backtrack me. I don't, mm -mm. I've had experiences like that. I literally had, I had this lady, true story, JC Penney's do my hair, she relaxed my hair. And then I, I was coming back, I wanna say two, three weeks later I came back and there was a person who was styling my hair. She was giving me like the, um, what are the things, finger waves? And she was like, are you natural? I was like, no, I got a relaxer. Because I knew my relaxer was butt afterwards. But it's like, it doesn't show that your, your relaxer is really bad until you put water on it. 
But, um, so I, she said, are you natural? And I was like, no. I said, I just got to relax it here like two weeks ago. And she was like really kind of trying to keep it to herself. But we both looked at each other because I could tell. Like I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two weeks ago, I got a relaxer and my hair is doggone nappy as crap. But I know when I do my relaxers, I kind of overall know how to do it. I know that it takes more time than maybe someone's used to because it's just so much hair. But at the same time, you got to be quick about it. You got to be careful, but then you got to be quick because, girl, I got so many strands. But you got to make sure you only put on the new girl. You got to make sure that you're moving quick enough because my hair doesn't break down fast when it comes to the relaxers. But, you know, I don't know what she thought definitely she took it out prematurely it was a nappy as get outdoors so <sighs> you know jc penny's got bless them i was mad about that one okay so this section is almost detangled just at the bottom pulling any shedded hair oh girl that's so hot this ring light that's what's making it hot in here <coughs> Let me open this door because I think it brings more light in here. I want to listen to music, but I think you get copyrighted if you listen to music on live stream. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Comment down below. You know how people say, comment down below. <laughs> oh, one braid, y'all. One braid. Mm -mm -mm. And then, yeah, look, <clears throat> a lot of this detangling is the, the relaxed part of the hair. Like, it ain't even the, the natural part. It's the relaxed, like, it's almost like the relaxed hair gets upset that you're not giving it the attention that maybe it needs um, as to why it's, it gets so, like, look at that. It don't even look like I'm, I'm relaxed. That's what my hair does. <laughs> It's been so long since I've had a relaxer, so it's almost like their the relaxed hair gets upset that you're not giving it the love that I guess it should have. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Oof. Usually when I detangle too, I am sitting on the couch because <laughs> ain't nobody got time to be up for 24 hours, 36 hours <laughs> detangling standing up so yeah so I'm gonna just work on this little section here and do y'all do anything different like do y'all detangle y'all's hair differently let me know I see y'all watching so let me know I'm for real tell me do y'all how you detangle your hair do you finger detangle it do you finger detangle it did I just say that twice <laughs> Finger detangle it or um, detangle with a brush, a Demi brush or a comb. <clears throat> I feel like a Demi brush is a better than a comb. So I feel like I don't get, when I do brush it, I don't get as much um, breakage from the Demi brush. But I don't know. Whew. Any of you all have gone from relaxed to natural, do you regret it? Um, or anyone who's going from natural to relaxed, do you regret that? Um, I've been relaxed since <clears throat> sixth grade and I don't regret it. Um, part of me, I would say, part of me regrets only because, let me change that. Um, I wonder if I could have <clears throat> done it. I wonder if I could have, um, you know, worked with my natural hair. Maybe I'll be standing here before y'all and saying that, oh, I don't want to ever go relax because, you know, it's too much work. I don't know. But I know that <clears throat> I hear a lot of people who are natural who say it's, it's a lot of work. And I believe it is a lot of work. It's, oh, I, I don't even want to imagine. But, yeah, so part of me wants to know, would like to know what it would have been like. But I guess I wouldn't say it's a regret. Because honestly speaking, girl, <gasps> no. Mm -mm. I see people on on YouTube who say they regret relaxing their hair, but then some people say they regret 
um, going natural and I don't want to be that one as to partly why I, I decided to just give myself time to however much time it can be years from down the line as to you know me deciding on whether or not I need to go relax or natural but that's the beauty about it because it's my hair and you know I can do whatever I want to do with my hair so it's not a problem my channel is wrapped around you know my journey so again it's not a problem because it's just showing you all uh, what I do and a lot of what I do is trial and error like again wearing a wig since my freaking edges falling out like that's trial and error <laughs> People tell me about the wig grip. I need to see what that is um, because I still want to wear wigs, but I dare not right now. Not right now because a little bit of edges that I do have, girl, <laughs> if the wig grip doesn't work and it just makes it worse, I can't really hide. I feel like I can't really hide my edges that fill out. Like you could definitely tell there's a spot here. Um, so I don't, I don't know. Uh, even, I don't know. I might have to gel it with my um, <clears throat> Eco Styling Gel, and it has the black castor oil and the flaxseed seeds. I love that. But um, yeah, I don't know, you guys. I just play it by how I'm feeling when I do my hair. Um, but I will be definitely trying all the oils that you all recommended, so I can let you know how my hair responds. You all have gave, given great advice on the carrot oil or the black castor oil which i've always used that <clears throat> and some different oils that i have yet to try so i'll be going as soon as i can get my hair detangled i'll be going to the store to go get these oils but first your girl gotta cook something because my husband ain't playing it i've been over here doing my hair for three days honey Oof. so this section here is kind of pulling on my scalp so it hurts <laughs> um and again, I'm tender-headed, so don't judge me. I am tender-headed regardless of... I, I find that a lot of times when I don't go... When I go without a relaxer, I am a lot more tender-headed than I am usually when I have a relaxer. But I also found out that when I don't get a relaxer for a long time, my scalp starts like itching for it. But that's going away because I have been almost a year. So that lets me know that, you know, that that's not normal. That's not normal. Why is one scalp like, it was like aching for a relaxer. Yeah, that's how, that's what it was. It was, I remember it aching like, I don't know, it was just aching. But it will only do that after I've reached a certain point of um, not getting a relaxer. Whereas now my hair doesn't ache. Like none of that, none of that happens, you know, but that's just me. You know, to each his own, y'all, if y'all relax, definitely do what you do. Um, because people would tell me all the time, oh, you should go now, da, da, da. and I wasn't trying to hear that. Um, I still, like, <clears throat> at the end of the day, like, I don't care what people think about what I should do. I mean, I don't mind the advice, but I feel like, you know, life is a journey, and we all have to figure out um, for ourselves, um, you know, what works for us and what doesn't. So, um, or even trying to... You know, finding out what the truth is about relaxers and the lack of, you know, the health and so forth. It took me a while to kind of get to the point that I even cared. Um, and that's not the only reason why I'm, I'm you know, deciding not to get a relaxer. Because, again, I may get one. I'm just saying. Just being honest. <laughs> but right now in my life, I'm not really, that's not my focus. So, Woo. All right. So that section, all of this is detangled. It's detangled, honey. It's detangled as much as it's going to be detangled because I don't see any kinks or knots. And I'm going through from root to tip. And I got so much hair in my sink. Not so much, but a lot. Let me show you. So there's how much hair just in that one section that I have lost. And I have not detangled this section. Oh, God knows when. But yeah shedding a lot of hair is normal they say that you're supposed to shed like i want to say 100 to 200 sh um strands of hair but i think it just, just depends on your overall health of your hair like your diet and then you know because everyone's different i feel like that you know everyone's different so not everyone sheds the same 
<clears throat> you'll know if it's excessive. Like, obviously, if you have any spots, ball spots, and things like that, that's, bro, you, you, you not shedding. You, you break it. Like, breakage is occurring. Like, when I was showing y'all earlier about my wig, this is breakage. So, you'll know. If that short pieces, like my hair has never been like this, ever. But you'll know if that's breakage. Like all of my hair is long and then this is just short little roly polies. <laughs> so, you'll know the difference, honey. You'll know the difference. <clears throat> mm. It is definitely tangled here. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <clears throat> what time is it to? Hold on. So I started this thing at 2.30. It is 3.30. An hour. An hour. Just like on a braid. On a braid. An hour. One hour. <clears throat> Y'all thought I was playing. One hour, Danielle. One hour to do detangle. Just one braid. Again, I keep telling y'all, if y'all don't want to be on this journey, you know, then <laughs> if you want to be on a hair journey, you got to really think about, you know, the dedication, the patience that you got to give to it. And it may be a lot quicker if I go through it with a comb, but I already told y'all the reason why I'm not doing it. Do y'all have any um, YouTubers that y'all recommend for me to watch? Maybe on um, a hair journey as well, hair regiments. Um, I would love some ideas and some people to watch. Ooh, so hot. I'm trying to see. Oh, okay. Whew. And I have many times when I detangle my hair that I have to call off from work to do my hair because I've run out of time and I don't like it uh, it's not fun for me at all because um I mean I don't mind I like to work I like to you know I don't like to have an annual leave because of braiding or detangling my hair like bruh who does that if I'm gonna do an annual leave I'm gonna go on vacation honey not be sitting up here at the house detangling <clears throat> I might do another video of me. I think I'm gonna flat iron my hair, but <laughs> uh, that mm -mm, I don't know. If I flat iron it, it y'all look. I don't even know. I don't know what to tell y'all. If I flat iron it, I'll do it. If not, then I won't. But I don't want to make any promises, and I don't even know how long it's gonna take me to do it. So I'm we look. <laughs> I literally feel like I need, like, you know how they have the Africans braiding, multiple Africans braiding the hair? I feel like I need multiple people doing that to flat iron my hair just because it's just so much. <clears throat> I don't see how people who have more hair than me can deal. Well, a lot of people I feel like go to salons because they can't deal. Oh my gosh. And when I feel like I'm losing my patience, like I don't want to give as much tender love and care, I stop. I'll stop and then I'll, I'll go get something to eat or I'll watch some TV or something. Like if you feel like you're losing patience and you don't want <clears throat> to do this anymore, stop. Stop and do something else because don't rush through it. And then cause yourself a setback that you could avoid it. Alright, so the top part is definitely detangled. And again, I am finger detangling. Okay. So now I'm in the middle part and I'm just checking to see if there's any hair that needs to tangling. And we're gonna work, we worked ourselves here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start detangling from the bottom. When you pull from the bottom, just be very careful that you're not like forcing it. Like let it slide, honey. You gotta use a serum, use a little bit of a serum to help with that, but I'm okay. The deep conditioning definitely helps. Deep conditioning helps with detangling, I promise you, before and after. Uh, um, deep conditioning, I feel like for me, I can detangle on dry hair. Some people feel like they can detangle on wet hair. And I, again, I feel like that has to do with the porosity of the hair. So I'm trying to see how I can see these comments 
Uh, but I don't know how to do that. So I'm going to have to see it later. So you'll have to comment like again or something like that because it comes up here, but then it disappears really quick. So, Whew. all right. So this section is detangled. I can now go through it and just pull it apart section by section. Uh, yeah. I was trying to see the comment again, but I can't. All right. So if you want, you can like literally go and comb with your hand. But again, I don't do all that. Like I'm trying to avoid as much manipulation as possible. So that's what I try to do. Um, it's just go through and just check for any, any tangles. So I'm pulling out the hair, gently pulling it, allowing my hair to do what it do. All right. Okay. We are almost done. You believe it? Look, I can believe it an hour later on one braid, honey. Okay. And I got a video I got to edit to for a company. That's another thing. Like when people who, people who do um, YouTube, like we do like product reviews and things like that. If y'all decide to do YouTube, make sure you're true to yourself and always be true to yourself obviously but then giving your loyal subscribers like the truth about what you think about products um you know some people will get on here and was like oh my experience is this and that you know that's fine that their experience may have been different it may have been a positive or a negative one but everyone's experience with different companies i feel like it should be the same but it's not always the same unfortunately so but yeah so i gotta i gotta review to say the least to do on a great product that I um I received. Oof. I'm just really glad my scalp ain't tender, like in a sense of aching like it used to be when I had tried, you know, when I wanted those relaxers. That crack is whack. <laughs> There's something in that relaxer that they put in that's like, look, I'm for real just being for real. If your hair is aching because it, it wants that creamy stuff, honey, I don't know. You already know I'm on a rant about how our, our world um, has things in our food and air and just everything that we consume and touch and breathe. I feel like, you know, our world is just cruel of the different things that they put in stuff and we as people don't even know. So that's why it's important to do our research because you never know. I found like um, paint thinning chemicals in my son's cereal. It's just ridiculous. The the length people would tell you, I just relaxed my hair yesterday, natural is healthy, but girl, I just can't do it. Honey, who are you telling? <laughs> How long were you natural? Um, Girl, who you telling? Like, people get mad because, you know, other people don't want to go natural or, you know, whatever the case may be. Like, you why you why people get mad? Like, that's their life. Let them do it. Oh, three years. Girl. Whew. I don't even remember, other than seeing my, my relaxed, my natural hair here, I don't even remember what my hair really, I don't know my curl pattern or any of that. But, I mean, I can only guess that it's nappy as crap. <laughs> Because my hair is, it's, when it gets, girl, when it gets nappy, it gets nappy. It gets really resistant, girl. Mm -mm. So I don't even judge no one. Anyone who decides to get a relaxer, who decides to go natural, I am not one to judge because I'm in between. <laughs> I'm in between trying to figure out, okay, what's the best thing for me? So I feel like it's, you know, kind of just, I don't know, I feel like it's, Selfish for people to, it's one thing to try to inform people, but then for people to go and talk negative trash because people decide to do something because they have the lack of knowledge about something or even if they have the knowledge because you have people who know. 
um, certain things about relaxes, but you know, we just as people choose to because it's easier for our life. I feel like that goes for food too. Like, okay, how are you how are people going to sit up here and talk about oh, relaxes this, relaxes that when half those people, probably even more than that, are sitting here eating garbage at these places, like you know, fast food restaurant. What about that stuff that's in there? Like, oh, relaxes cause cancer, relaxes cause fibroids. Okay, but what about all this food that's at the fast food restaurants that you have not done your research on? Um, <laughs> so pick and choose your battles. Um, that's how I feel. Like, you know, we are our people and we are choosing to pick our battles. And at the end of the day, we cannot judge one another because <laughs> you at a restaurant getting this creamy crap junk. <laughs> And another person's just getting the cream crack in the hair. So that's how I see it. Like, you know, we, we people, as people, we just quick to judge. And we need to stop it. <laughs> we need to stop it. Let people, if they want to relax their hair, let them relax. If they want to go natural, let them go natural. If they want to shave their freaking eyebrows and hair off their head, let them do what they want to do. It's their hair. Like, that's a relationship between them and their body and God. Like, I don't, I've never been one to say, oh, you should go natural. I can definitely tell you the benefits of going natural. I can definitely tell you the benefits of being relaxed. But at the end of the day, it's your choice to do whatever you choose to do. So, you come to my channel, Boo Boo, you'll never see me sitting here judging a person on anything that they do. You know? Unless they're being just rude to people for no reason. But other than that, I'm not one to do it. I don't, I don't think that's, as human beings... If we truly say that we love and care for someone, there's no way of doing it. You don't bash people to get them to see, you know, your point of view. Um, I think that that's the same thing as religion. You know, you can influence people or you can, you know, talk to them about, you know, your experience and what the Bible says and what the Lord has done, is, you know, for you. But, you know, you win the heart by love. That's, that's how it is. <sighs> Patience and the time, depending on your natural texture, is it possible? Like I said, it's been three years I couldn't do it anymore. You are right. Girl, it's and it's not just the food, it's about a lot of stuff. Like I think people don't even realize that when you see those um those planes that are hovering um in the sky and spraying the stuff, does people do people ever wonder what that is? Do they do their research to figure out what that stuff is? Do the research and figure out that this stuff that they're spraying in the air, why they're doing it and what that chemical is and how it's affecting our crops, how it's affecting our breathing, like if we're really going to get into some technical um, issues, let's talk about it, honey. Because there's a lot of stuff to talk about. The, just hair. <laughs> hair is a, a drop in the pond, you know, compared to the many other things that, you know, people are consuming. Let's talk about pads. Let's talk about those maxi pads and how they have the chemicals inside of that that are literally causing people to bleed more, are literally causing, you know, women's vaginas to basically suffocate because of the chemical that's inside of that. There's no air, there's no cotton to allow the vagina to be able to breathe. So, you know, yeah. Oh my gosh, yes, this makes me want to just start myself, but I know that I can't have ever seen any, ever seen the video where they make cabbage. Oh, girl, I have not. I've seen a video where they were, um, I don't even know what country this is in, but the rice, it wasn't even real white rice. <laughs> it was like, I don't know, some plastic, it was something. It was weird. I've never even seen it before, but it was some type of like material that they, that they were cutting it up to be rice. And this stuff is being sold in the States, in the States. So, honey. I know people mention about even Netflix about how on um, what what the health girl before that I already knew like there's meats and things that people literally deliberately stores will have them expire and place blood on them to make them look fresh and then people will go and eat that meat like girl <laughs> and these meats have like maggots in them and people don't know and those probably the same people who over here are quick to judge people and how they live their life. Oh, you shouldn't do this. Oh, you shouldn't. Do well, you shouldn't be eating meat. And you, you, sh you shouldn't be trusting the FDA to make to give you the decision or make a decision on your your health. Do your own research <laughs> and figure out what you like. I feel like the best best method is to grow your own food at this point in time. And 
even being very careful to say that because at the end of the day, the stuff they're, they're spraying around our crops and in the air, like you got to literally probably grow your food in your house. Girl, huh. It's so much stuff I know, right? There's so much more things that I found out about our government, our <laughs> FDA, so many people approve of. Like, even when I do, like, my natural this, natural that, you'll be surprised. You'll be really surprised. People talking about, I feel like we give doctors too much credit. <laughs> and we put all our trust in these doctors saying, oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, the body's this, the body's that. Well, at the end of the day, like I said, it's my body. I'm going to choose to do what I want to do. The government has shown itself plenty of times to not care for people. And they're going to keep, keep showing themselves. Why? Because they're people. They're people who are selfish, who don't care. And they, girl, mm -mm. I can go on and on about this government that we so love. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love you know, to be an American. I love the fact that we have the freedom of speech. I love the fact that we have just freedom that other countries don't have. But at the end of the day, let's be real. Let's be honest. You know, I'm always going to be transparent. Like I always say, like, we are in a place that we really have to care for ourselves. And we got to question every single thing that we consume in our body as to what it is. If they have words in it, that in products, hair products at that. If they have things inside products that we can't you know, pronounce, we need to do our research and find out what the heck we're putting in our bodies, especially if we're giving it to our kids. Like, if we don't care about us, let's care enough about our kids. Like, these people had doggone freaking paint thinner in cereal. Like, why? And then the cereal company, they email back to a parent that's furious, email back to that parent saying, oh, it's to give it crunch. You mean to tell me a paint thinner? A, a chemical that breaks down mold, a cleaning chemical you use in cereal, kid cereal, to give it a freaking crunch? Forget the crunch. <laughs> we don't want the crunch. If it's at the state of our kids' health, and we're trying to figure out why these kids have all these hormonal issues, ADHD, oh, girl, bye. Y'all know why they got them. <laughs> Y'all know exactly why all this stuff is so much more prevalent than it was decades ago. Like, please. I don't, girl. So when I speak, I speak from experience, from <laughs> researching. And not just researching one or two um, books or, you know, researchers. Like, I'm, I'm researching on multiple sources. Like, we, and that's how we have to live our life. That's just how it is. That's that's where we've come to, girl. <laughs> and really, what you look? What you laughing about? A girl, it's true. It's true. Like I don't put, I don't trust none of these people. Where are my scissors at? So when I have a tangle, going back to my hair, y'all can see that. I'll literally go in with my scissors. I don't even know where my scissors are at, and I'll I'll cut it, cause I'm not gonna sit here and cause more stress on my hair than what it has to because i'm already you know tugging and pulling on it so that's what that looks like girl daniel i know right it's all about the money <laughs> but you'll be surprised at, at the extent that people go like research sugar and the different things that sugar has been known to cause but fda fda <laughs> F FDA. The FDA has approved it. Girl, hmm. you better get away from Cinnamon Toast Crunch, um, some different Cheerios. Look at it. It's triphosphate. Uh, um, look it up. It's a chemical that they say that's used for a crunch. Yeah. Girl, bye. I'm going to get my scissors. Hold on. shears scissors are so I'm just cutting it with my I wouldn't recommend doing it with your dull scissors but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do 
until you find it. But I recommend sheer scissors because they all they will cut the hair just straight across. It won't leave any jagged edges or um, sometimes the dull scissors will cause um, it can cause more breakage. But all right, so y'all, this is too much, honey. It's like I'm so close but so far away. Cause I still got so much to do. <sighs> and then once I'm done, I'm gonna show you all, like taking all my hair down and showing you what my hair looks like. Um, but boo boo. <laughs> hey Josh, <laughs> he had a store already. No, I, I didn't always have long hair. I've always had thick hair though. My um, I've had. Girl had so many experiences with my hair. I've had a um, time where I had my sister putting in a relaxer and literally all of this side of my hair, you know how you just put it in fours? This whole side was started on, all of that side fell completely. I was scalp bald, scalp bald. Um, I've pretty much always been at least here, you know, at least here. Girl, look, you and me both ready to see because I have not seen my hair like this in a, a year. <laughs> Going on a year. But, um, yeah, so my hair has been always thick, but it has not always been long. So, this is the longest, I've, as I've stated, this is the longest it, that it's ever been. Um, so, I'm realizing it takes a lot more patience. It, um... It's not a scary thing for me, it's a overwhelming thing for me. And what I'm My live, okay, is it on? My live on? Cause I can't, okay. So my phone overheated, it literally just blanked out. It said um, overheat. So I think cause it was plugged up. Okay, so I don't even know what I was talking about prior. But yeah, my hair has not always been long, it's um, over the time has grown um but it has always 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 been very very thick um oh i used to hate when my mom flat ironed my hair she, oh, she would flat iron my hair so much and so close to the oil that she put in not i mean i would always tell her when she was doing it that she look mom you you burning me you know how oil is bubbling you know when it's too hot that's that's what was going on it was too it was too hot so, yeah, so my hair has not always been long, it's always been thick though. So I've always had to give my hair some type of tender love and care um, to the extreme. <laughs> I can see a lot of my friends and family members that would do their hair like in this amount of time, but girl, it took me forever to do it. I'll open this door too. <clears throat> Another thing I mentioned uh, in a lot of my videos is um, once you find a regimen that works for you, products that work for you, whether or not your hair is low porosity versus high porosity, then you want to make sure that you get yourself some type of silk um, pillowcase or you get yourself a silk um, bonnet or um, hair wrap. I use hair wraps. I don't use bonnets um, just because mm -mm. I don't feel like they protect my edges like I want them to. So I don't really use bonnets. And if I do use a bonnet, then I'm using it over a scarf, a silk scarf. But right now I need to find myself a um, a silk pillowcase because the one I have is pink, but it don't go with my my theme in my my bedroom, so I don't really care to use it. So I just use my scarf at the time. All right, so my roots are detangled. And that's what it's looking like detangled detangled and I'm now working my way up to here where you see all the little nap pieces um, so I'm just going to pull from the bottom anything that will come and again not forcefully pulling anything allowing my hair to give and like I said you can use the oil if you choose to do that but I don't want to do it just because I have plans on at some point in time um, probably straighten my hair and I don't want my hair to be weighed down by oil so yeah oh honey I get oh I'm sorry but <laughs> I told you I'm tender headed so you see here first oh I don't know why that part is so 
I gotta stop. I don't know why that part is so um tender, but it definitely is. Whew. Okay. So I'm gonna go a lot slower in this section is because for some reason this section is very tender. I don't know why. Oof. Do y'all have like tender spots in your head? Like sections of your scalp that are tender, more tender than others? Like I don't, is that normal? I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't know why that feels like it does. Okay. So this part is almost detangled. Just going at the bottom and pulling it apart. Oof. Okay. All right, that part is done, honey. Done, son. It's done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, flip that around my head. Look at my ball. Girl, talk about some doggone. That's the doggone. What do they call these little balls that people do? I don't know. I can't even think of it right now. But again, look at that doggone breakage. Isn't that just horrible? That's how my hair gonna look right here when it comes back in. Oh, wigs. How I have a love and a hate relationship with you right now. Have y'all tried the wig um, grip thing? Girl, really? I can't imagine my like. I mean, I'm tender headed too, all over. But I feel like right now, like I'm more tender here, just like right here for some reason than anything. And I don't know what to think about that. I don't know. If I do straighten my hair, it's gonna be for a, a short period of time. Like it's probably gonna be for like a week, maybe maybe two weeks because. Girl, I need to put on my, I gotta put my oil in. And my Shibi oil, I put that stuff in. I love putting it under my wigs because the Shibi, it leaves like specks in the hair. Like if you can tell, it has like little specks um, in my hair. It looks like dirt, but it's not. But um, but yeah, you were like that. <laughs> Girl, I'm still, ooh, I am. I am in my 30s and I am so tender headed. Like you, promise you, you have someone who combs my hair and they just don't care about me being tender head i would cry i would cry or get mad like stop doing my hair like that's how serious it is because it can cause me to have like i don't know it feels like my hair is being ripped out and it can cause me to have a headache um so i don't play about that <clears throat> that's one of, like i said one of the reasons why i don't just go to anybody to allow them to do my hair like no because ain't nobody gonna care for my hair like me I'm just saying. So, yo. <clears throat> oh, we so close. So close. And it's like the closer I'm getting to the end um, here, the less I have to detangle. For some reason, it's e lot, all of this front part is e easier um, as far as not being, um, being tangled versus the back. Oh, my gosh. My crown area. Girl, bye. That probably took a day in itself. <laughs> I can't even remember, but my crown area is, is the most resistant area. Like the texture is even, girl be mad, be mad. Girl, you didn't give me that cream crack. <laughs> girl be mad. Mm -mm. So yeah, so that's where a lot of my thickness, probably the, the texture is just a lot tighter, I should say. Not really thick, thicker, it's just tighter. The curls are tighter. Oh, y'all. Freaking tender headed. I kind of wish I wasn't. I mean, obviously, I wish I wasn't tender headed, but. Because it just slows me down. Because I got to take more time. I'm already taking enough time as it is trying to detangle. And it's going to take me more time to do it. Ooh. Honey. Okay, so I want to say the top part is detangled. <sighs> I'm just ready to get over with this crap. And so I already <clears throat> detangled up to here. And then, like I said, you can tell by the different types of, I don't know, just it's just a lot of little naps, knots, tangle pieces in there. 
<clears throat> so starting from the bottom and working my way up pulling any hair that will give a couple strands okay okay how do y'all feel about people getting on people's youtube channel and just being rude like, like you know i feel like it's one thing to stress your opinion obviously because we live in america we are able to we're very opinionated let's just say that um which i don't mind i promise you i don't mind people um giving me their opinion i don't mind people disagreeing with me but i feel like it's your approach you know your motive i feel like people's motive and approach is just deliberately just ruthless and mean for no reason you know i think people sometimes forget that this is um that we're still people like I'm a person I'm a whole person you know I'm a whole person people feel like they can just come and say whatever they want and I'm a nice person at that I don't I don't come on anyone's channel or just in person or even online wherever it may be I don't I don't I'm not rude like that so it, it this field of work or of uh, social media has very much surprised me as far as the not just the balls or the audacity but just the 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 amount of rudeness people have reached like it's just and then they want to say well i can opinion i can comment because it's my opinion yeah i know that i understand that but people are on here like this is a different world honey these people and but it surprises me that we have such rude nasty people in this world like it really surprises me so you know and i, I guess it comes with the territory but it shouldn't be <laughs> it shouldn't be but i have people who come on here and tell me what I should do, what I need to do, and you know, oh, you just want to do this reviews or you want to do this or da da da. Well, at the end of the day, this is this YouTube channel. Yes, we we work for y'all's views, we work for y'all's opinion, we work for you all to watch. Like that's the only like it's a motivation to keep one you know recording. So if you know that's not my only reason. I'll say that like my reasoning. Yes, I want to make sure that I have. You know as many people as possible to watch my channel but that's not my only reason as to why i did youtube like i didn't start youtube because just the views like who does that i started back in 2008 when i was just recording like on my my computer and on my phone like we didn't even know nothing about just views or now what we know now we didn't know nothing about that so i don't know like i just i don't know just to answer people's questions yeah people we we work we work for views we work for fun we work for our hobby we work to to network we like it's a job it's a job that i like i like to do when i don't want to do it or like to do it then i'll stop you know that's just what it is like i don't know i don't know i don't know i feel like we definitely are in a getting the backlash of a lot of people i guess who do it for the wrong reasons um and you know that's fine you know but at the end of the day not everybody's the same that's why the good lord made us all different <laughs> um but yeah i feel like i'm explaining myself a lot with um people which i know people tell me you don't have to explain yourself but that's just who i am like i don't mind telling people why i do what i do and why I said what I said and why I showed what I showed, but <clears throat> where can you get the rice water? I mean, the rice water, you make it. You, um, I don't have the rice water. Um, I haven't even done it. Someone actually was, a lot of people were telling me about it and I've always, I've already looked into doing it, but rice water is literally where you're going and you're boiling the, the rice in the water and you're allowing it to sit inside of the refrigerator I think you have to do it like um a certain amount of hours and then you pour that water onto your hair and that's supposed to help with the hair growth um but yeah so that's you just look on youtube and i'll be doing a video soon on it um on you know my experience how i do it um but yeah that's all you're really doing is just boiling the water um putting that water like in a pitcher or something and then um keeping it in the refrigerator for a certain amount of hours and then pouring that water onto your hair. A lot of people do that like weekly. Some people do it maybe like, you know, two times a month. But again, that's just going to be how, you know, your journey. 
So for me, if I'm going to do it, then I'm definitely going to have braids in my hair and I'm just going to do it that way and allow my hair not to have to be like manipulated. That's my whole point of my journey is trying to figure out things that work for me. But yeah, so I think I'll be doing that soon. Um, once I find that protective style that I like, um, I'm going to go then do the rice water. Um, I've heard great things about it. Um, so I can't help but to try it. And I don't know, like you may be able to buy some rice water, but why when well, you can do it yourself? Because at the end of the day, I feel like you know what's inside of it. You make the water yourself using organic, yeah, organic rice, exactly. Definitely, if you're gonna be doing anything, if you're trying to grow your hair, try to go the organic way. Um, just because, you know, at that point in time, you know what's inside of your product, you know what you're putting in your hair, you know what you're putting in your body. But yeah, definitely get in the organic um, rice, thank you, Dale, and, um, and then boiling it, put it in the refrigerator, and then pouring that on your hair after a certain amount of hours. But the, like I said, there's a lot of videos on that on YouTube. So, you know, find someone that maybe you like or, you know, you can trust and, you know, try it out. See how it works for you. Or you can wait for me to do it. <laughs> it's up to you. Um, but, yeah. And if you do try it out before I try it out, definitely let me know how your hair feels. Does it have a smell to it? Um, and if it's working for you. Danielle, have you tried it out, by the way? Look at all that. Oh, look at that. Y'all see that? That big old bunch of hair just together. But Danielle, have you tried their own rice water method? I've seen a lot of people. I've seen this one girl. I think she's Caucasian. I don't know. She she looked Caucasian, but she was she does it. Her hair is literally on her, her butt. Like she's past waist length. Like she girl, she thinks she's like tailbone if I'm not mistaken. Um, but a lot of people who have long hair, they'll tell you.